if, say, another operator or another technician wanted to be able to work on this thing, and they thought maybe there was a malfunction with that board, wouldn't it be neat to be able to to have that cable, kind of like what we're doing, and be able to operate from out here, say you're in a better light condition, a right. more open area to where well, you don't feel as confined, uh, able to hear the generator or some of the other features that we got going a little bit better. Sure, you can do that um, if, if you have an extra SCP. The system control panel can actually be used uh, anywhere in the coach. Uh, all you need to do is have the network cable. You can actually have multiple panels. So you could have one in the front, one in the galley, one in the bedroom, and be able to do all of the functions you needed to uh, with any of the panels uh, because it's a truly net networked system. So Don, now that we have everything online, we're ready to program our controller. What do you say we go through with my tech and, and teach him how to use this and program this unit? Perfect. Let's take care of it. Okay. All right. Do you have any specific questions you wanted to cover with the, the control panel? Yeah, I'd like to know a little bit more as far as what we can do with this control panel. How do we control the inverter with it? The main screen here, you can see that we've got, that we've got some basic information. You can see your battery voltage and your, your amperage, um, your status, which right now we're in absorption charge. Um, and then you can see your, your, your load current and voltage and your ACN current and voltage. If you wanted to dig deeper in, you can push the menu button. And the first thing you'll see is the menu of different devices that you have on the, on the network. The first is your system settings. Now, you always have system settings, um, and those will, will entail uh, things like what, what kind of menu structure you're in and, and, and things like that. And then below that, you'll see all the different devices that are on the network. Right now, we have a Freedom SW 3012. We have a Freedom Sequence Power Manager. We have the Xantrex Auto Gen Start. And then we have the Xantrex System Control Panel. Now, by pressing enter on any one of these, you can change the, the uh, different features and settings. In the system settings, if we hit enter, um, if I push enter, we can enable or disable the inverter. If you decide you want to, to make a change, let's say we want to enable the inverter, I can push enter and that will en enable the inverter. If I make a change and I don't want to save that, I can always hit the function button and exit out and it doesn't change a thing. For AC charge, we can turn on and off the charger. Same kind of system as the inverter. Uh, it's just enabled or disabled. Okay. System mode, you can set this for operating, standby. Uh, and standby would basically turn everything off um, so that you can work on the system without having to worry about manually turning each device off. You can turn off the, the, the it'll turn off the generator, turn off the inverter, and things like that. Um, cascading is, comes into play when you have multiples of the same device. Uh, for instance, if you have two or three inverters installed in a system, if you enable cascading, when you change a setting on one inverter, it'll change them on all the inverters. Okay? Um, connection names come into play when you have multiple batteries, multiple uh, inverters, multiple generators. Um, and I'll refer you to the, to the manual for, uh, for those details. When you view, view your fault list, if your fault light is on, you can press enter and it'll list all the, the, the faults that are current and, and see what's, uh, what the, the system is telling you. You can view your warning list. You can clear your faults and warnings, and then you can view device info. This is really handy for when you're troubleshooting because it can tell you what the part number of each device is, what its serial number is, and what its firmware rev is. So if you, if you have older firmware, you can get on the phone with our, our customer service department. They can determine your firmware and, and decide if you need to, to have an upgrade uh, or not. Okay, on the main screen, you can see some basic information. Your, 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 your mode, right now we're in absorption mode, some basic volt, uh, voltage readings. If you scroll down, you can get into some of the settings. You can enable or disable the inverter you could, or, or the charger um, or, the, or the search mode. Um, you can force a charge state. If you think your batteries are low, you can actually change and force into a bulk state. So if we did that now and I hit enter, we scroll up, you'll see it just went into a, a new bulk cycle. You can, you can enable your equalized charge. Uh, and you can set the, the, the inverter itself into standby, clear its faults and warnings, or view its device info as well. 
You can change some of the basic settings, which would have to do with battery type, battery t uh, size, um, max charge rate, and, and your, your charge cycles, um, as well as your recharge volts. This is, this is kind of a neat feature in that if recharge volts is set for 12.5, it, as your batteries discharge, if they don't make it as low as 12.5 before your AC comes back online again, it won't go through a new recharge. It has to drop below the, the, the recharge volts before it'll, it'll start a new bulk charge. Um, your AC in breaker, which is overridden by the SCP if you have one installed. Um, and then your low battery cutout. You, this is, the default is set for 10.5, so at 10.5 volts the inverter will, will disengage uh, and give you a low battery fault. Um, I guess that's what's setting. Now, let's look at the Freedom Sequence Power Manager. Now, the Sequence Power Manager has an awful lot of features and, and settings that we can deal with. <clears throat> the most important one that, 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 that we'll look at, or the, the, as far as information goes, is, is the amperage draw. Right now, we can see that line one amps is showing 3.1 uh, volts, approximately. This is system-wide. We can see the battery voltage. And now we can look at circuit status. So you can actually see how many amps each circuit is drawing at any given time. Right now, the charger is draw, drawing all the current, and so all, this, all the, the uh, circuits are drawing zero. But you can go through and you can see what circuit is drawing uh, current at any given time. <clears throat> so you can see our, our front AC is, is, is off. And then you can go look at all of your different circuits. Okay. You can go into configuration, and, and this is how you configure the, some of the circuits, whether you, uh, whether you want the, the shore breaker to be in manual mode or automatic mode. Automatic means that single phase is 30 amp, split phase is, is 50 amp. Um, and then you can, you can set uh, uh, whether you're going to be operating or in standby, again, for safety. You can configure your, your individual circuits or restore defaults. The restore defaults is, is, is an important setting because it takes everything back to the, to the, uh, the settings of the, uh, that were set at the factory. Okay? To look at our auto gen start, really the only thing you should really worry about on the auto gen start is whether you're in automatic, manual, or, or manual on or manual off. Um, all of the other settings should be programmed in the, at, at the factory uh, or only programmed once. Um, your SCP, you can change all, all the different uh, functions of the SCP, brightness, contrast, whether you want this, the, the, the beep to happen at, at every button push, and you can actually rename it if you have more than one system control panel. You can name them uh, so you can, you can determine which one is which and change the settings on, on, on another SCP if you needed to. Don. I'd sure like this opportunity to say thank you to you and Zandrax Corporation for helping us make a seamless build. What a wonderful product you guys have. You guys brought so much to the table, knowledge, experience. I just, I can't say enough about this product. It just works perfect for us. Excellent. I'm glad it worked for you. And thank you for letting us be a part of this, for helping you with it, and letting us get it on a camera. I think this was just a, a, a great install. You're thank quite you. welcome.